excuse me. Dad, this would better be good. Nothing short of an earthquake. Absolutely sure. It's just one chronic pain. One. What kind of a chronic pain? No necklace, no bracelet. Dad, no Dad, look, put Ella on. Which means she's not there. Okay, okay, look, I'll be as quick as I can, all right? I'm sorry, honey. My dad's taking a turn for the worse, and the carer seems gone able. Oh, you're kidding. No, I don't want to happen to her. Look, could you cover for me? Half hour tops, yeah? Tight. Any progress? Well, according to Jimmy Todd's prison file, there are eight approved numbers he's allowed to call from London, but not one of them's in this phone. So if it isn't Jimmy's mobile, whose is it? Hopefully it's Tucker's. I'm going to get onto the network supplier and see if they can fax over some addresses for these stored numbers. Right. D.S. Nixon. Yes. Thank you. Forensics have matched some prints on the bag of Coke. And? Mel Hickey's. Right. Oh, uniform together and get over there. Dad! Yeah. Ella, Dad said you'd left. Oh, yeah, Dad says all sorts of nonsense. We were having what you might call a battle of wills. I think your father was hoping for an easy victory, which only goes to prove he doesn't know me very well. Dad, you said you had a chronic pain. So where is it? Dad, where's the pain? The pain's in my neck. And it's her. Do you think that's funny? I've bumped off work for this. I thought it was an emergency. I've known some nagging women in my time, son. This one's world class. I asked him to take his pills. He said he'd take them when he was ready. I said you'll take them when I say so, otherwise they won't work. I'll put the kettle on. She'll smell at me with her pillow as soon as your back's turned. I can't take much more of this, Dad. I'm working a 12-hour shift at Sun Hill. Then I'm coming home and I'm doing another 12-hour shift with you. I'm just so tired I can barely think straight. And now you have the brass neck to drag me away from work. Just because Ella asked you to take your flaming pills! Well, maybe I should take the whole bottle. Oh, please. Why not? What's my day? Sit here at the window, watching the world go by, knowing I'm not a part of it anymore. Everything's closing in on me, son. Treading water till I die. I hope it comes soon. Right, see what Hickey has to say for himself. Secure the back, please, Ray. Hickey! Can you hear music? Go ahead. Hickey! Police! Hickey! Hickey! Circulate. To all units, uh, Green Astra, Index Delta Kilo 51 X ray Mike Yankee, driven by suspect Mel Hickey. Are you okay? Um, depends. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing. Now, Sam, when you say nothing like that, it's always something. Always. What is it, Sam? Hmm? What is it you're not telling me? For God's sake, Sam, talk to me! All right, I'm pregnant! Let's kick it down to the horns, shall we? And I apologise if the service is not as fast as you'd like. Benny, you disappoint me! Stop that, get that sorted out of there. What's your name? That's my boy. Lock it. Turn your pockets down. Looks busy. People claim the custody sergeant and shouldn't the budget. Are you talking of budgets? That spreadsheet you mentioned. It was prepared by finance. It projects the loss of 10 older officers would finance 15 new recruits. Oh, so what are we going to do about it? As I said before, it's not really my business. But Adam, you were the borough commander. That's Gina, what I meant. John Heaton's entitled to run Sun Hill as he sees fit. 
best thing you can do is talk to him frankly about any concerns he may have. Well, if I survive that meeting, I'll let you know how it went. Look, I know you're trying to protect your team, and I respect that. But you don't want to make an enemy of your superintendent. I tell you to take care of yourself, but I know you will. Oh, well, that's what I like about rap music. It's the words, you know. The words. Oh, yeah. Hiya. Where's Tony? Oh, don't oh, ask. He'll be back in a bit. What have you lot been up to? Oh, we've been chasing a bouquet of hot flowers. Really? Yeah. yeah, me and Tony had a bit of a weird one. Yeah, to explain that. A ring was stolen from pawnbrokers. Now, this kid smashed the window, he's taken the ring, but ignored all the other jewellery. Well, maybe his gran had pawned it, he's trying to get it back for her or something. Well, I'm after the kid who robbed a bottle of champagne from the shops. But he better drink it quick, because he's a marked man. What is that then? Well, the CCTV clearly identifies his face. Smithy's getting it printed up now. Hang on a minute. Ring, flowers, champagne. What? You're saying it's the same man each time? Well, it's possible. Our suspect was wearing a white T-shirt. What about yours? A red T-shirt. Mm. Hold up. But both T-shirts could be easily worn under the hoodie, right? Which is exactly what the guy who robbed the shop was wearing. Mm, we need to check the times of the incidents against the locations. See if it's physically possible for the same bloke to have done the lot. Right. This is the kid who stole the champagne. Take one and keep an eye out for him. Honey, can you and Tony, uh... Where is Tony? He had an emergency at home, Sarge. Well, he better have walked. So one of my officers is out using the area car for his own personal business during a police operation. Right, Reg, Leela, you have a drive round see if you can find this kid. You, Sarge. tell me what's going on. Well, I think it's something to do with his dad. Why didn't one of you put a call in? Well, because it was a bit of an emergency and he just... You know what? I'm not interested. As of now, you are Perry Lewis. And when you see Tony, you tell him to come find me. Sarge. Something funny, Lewis. Nice, Sarge. So you're pregnant. Why the hostility? Why are you walking out on me like that? You think this is good news? Yeah, it could be. Kids are way down the line for you, Stuart. You've always said so. That was then. It hadn't happened. Now it has. So... Me a dad. <laughs> Why not? So, what are you going to do? Isn't it what are we going to do? You always said you didn't want any more kids now. Has that changed? I don't know. This film out about this. Hmm. <laughs> that was a stupid question. He guessed. Yeah, yeah, of course he did. Yeah. He seems to say that you are so out of order, I don't know where to start. Sorry, Sarge. The thing is, there are no excuses for leaving a colleague halfway through a job. And the way you have just used this area car like your own personal taxi. Sarge. Whatever you were doing was obviously so much more important than your job, you are finished here for the day. You can make your hours up in overtime. I'll take the keys, you can walk back to Sonia. Great, thanks. Yep, you recognise him? Yep. He says his name is Warren Davies. I saw him in the playground a few minutes ago. Cool. Warren Davies. Bingo. I love so much of beauty, every flower that blows, a little lily ears. Warren Davis? Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm arresting you for theft and criminal damage. Hey, hey, hey. Look. No, no, Stay where you please. are. Stay with Please. Me. Stop moving. I just need a few hours. I'll tell myself in first thing tomorrow, I promise. I'm afraid the law doesn't work like that. Right, let's go, man. Nixon. Right. You and Leela follow at a discreet distance. We'll be as quick as we can, all right? And let's use radios. They've spotted Mel Hickey's extra heading north up Collet Road. A suspect has just parked in Maidel Road. Maidel Road? We're just round the corner. Yeah, suspect just taking a black uh, plastic bag. I don't want it! 